Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master again today for another video. Before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, comment on any videos guys made to do next, and hit that little notification bell so you guys will never miss a video from me. Also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so that you guys can go check me out, see what's up, and give me more video ideas. If you guys want to see the last video, the link will be in the description, and it will also be right here. So please go watch that last video. Because my stupid ass forgot to say it in the video, I'm going to be saying it now. If you guys do follow me on social media, please state that you're a fan, because I talk to so many people outside of YouTube, and if I don't know who you are, I'm not going to contact you back. Now back to the video. But what I'm doing today for you guys is I have a deck that I bought from a store. And I will be unboxing it and reviewing it for you guys. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the deck that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing today is the Blue Bicycle Cyclist Playing Cards. We're going to start by opening this cellophane here. By peeling off that little ribbon thing if I can. doesn't look like I can, so I'm just going to have to rip into it. Like, like any normal person would. Boom. Perfect. Now, where's the other stuff? There it is. Okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now, I don't know what your guys' views are on this seal, but oftentimes I just take the box and I just, like, with my finger cut like that with the seal. And then just open the box. I just leave the seal there. I don't know why. But now that the cards are open, this is probably my favorite part of the entire unboxing experience of a playing card. This smoothness here that you feel with the playing cards, that's one of my most favorite things in the world. So let's go ahead and take these cards out of their box and we can give them a look. So here's the box. What I will do with the box is I will keep it right over here to the side. And I'm going to leave a link to an online store where you can buy these playing cards. I bought these at a Walmart, so you guys can go to a Walmart, probably find one. But I will also leave a link to an online store where you can buy this down below so you guys can check out this deck for yourself. Now, we first take a look at the cards, and we have an ad card. One side is in a different language, but this side is in English. Get a seat at the card table. It's kind of like that bicycle app. Thing, follow them on Facebook, you know, all this stuff. Rest in peace, USPCC. But, yeah, that's an ad card. We don't worry about those. Cyclist. Now, I'm going to be reading this. If you guys want the full text, it'll be in the description box down below. But, yeah, let's get right into it. In the late 1880s, cycling made the trek from fad to widespread means of recreation, transport, and competition. The evolution never stopped rolling forward with advances in aerodynamics, mechanics, and materials to mirror the ever-growing number of cycling challenges, both pro and amateur. Styling kept up with the eras, taking us on a journey of colors and designs to accommodate the vast array of cycling trends, advances, and personalities. Whether for sport, fun, or travel, bicycles continued to delight and move us. Makers of the best-selling playing cards in the world, the United States Playing Card Company, launched the bicycle brand in 1885, taking inspiration from the bicycle craze of the late 19th century. This deck represents the modernization of the cycling culture as it relates to our classic rider-back design. Bicycle playing cards, always moving forward. Very inspiring. Again, I will be leaving this text in the description box down below so you guys can read it for yourself. So now I want to take a look at the back design. Pretty modern. I like it a lot. It it looks cool. That's kind of like a wheel of a bike. Um, of course, that, that angel that they always have there on their bicycle cards, if you guys can see those, those angels right there. Yeah, those are pretty cool. But I really like the back design. It really flows well with the entire deck. I love the blue. I think the blue is my favorite. I've seen reds happen online, but I think I like the blue better. Everything else doesn't seem to be special. It, it all looks like a normal 
bicycle deck. That's a cool ace. Uh, ace of spades design. The numbers seem a little bit thicker than normal numbers. And a little bit longer. So that's going to be some cool effects. But other than that, everything looks the exact same. The face cards look like any bicycle deck would. So that's the spades. As you guys can see there, the two jokers. Pretty normal jokers. The diamonds, as you guys can see here, pretty normal. I like the red, it's a very bright, vibrant red, like all bicycles should have, you know, all bicycle cards. These are the clubs, and these are the hearts. So, so far, I hope I've met your guys' criteria. Now we're going to give the cards a shuffle, and we're going to get right into the handling of these playing cards. Now I gotta mention that these cards are made in an air cushion finish. That's French or whatever. Air cushion finish made in the USA, the USA. So air cushion finish is like a lot of normal bicycle playing cards. I really like it a lot. Basically an air cushion finish allows the back of the deck. If you can see I'll move it really close. I don't know if you can. If the camera will focus. Um, I don't know if you can see it but there's like little indents in the playing cards that allow air to go through kind of looks like goosebumps on a playing card it allows the air to go through and react really well to the air falling through the cards but it's a newer deck so it's going to be a little bit slick but so far i really like the shuffling of the playing cards and the riffling of the playing cards card springs let's try some cardistry Perfect. Ooh, feels so nice. I love the feel of new decks, especially when they just come out of the box with the cardistry. Let's try like some Hindus right here. Perfect. Easy. We can try a snap change here. One, two, three. Perfect. Just like that. It feels like a pretty normal deck of playing cards. Nothing too special about them. Um, the my favorite part of this deck is probably the back design. I just really love the way this back design looks compared to other decks. Um, very modern, very vibrant, and the design and idea is, is a pretty cool design and idea. So that is Bicycle Cyclist, and again, I will be leaving the link down below to where you guys can buy this deck. If you guys decide, decide to, it's up to you guys. But that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep mastering life. Welcome to this world called Earth. I've been waiting for the day to shadow my next verse. Always told that I'm cool, but never told what I'm worth. I have gained a lot of strength from all that's occurred. I've been patiently waiting for a true to rap again. I've been waiting for the day for him to pick up his pen. Rap about his feelings, leaving people exposed. Leaving thoughts behind and never trusting these hoes.